rolling bomb shelter để cho tôi hít để cho play tôi hiding rolling bomb Camille go down and just look down and go down in the way that people slide down oh they oh they slide down yeah slide down to hitting oh wow dropped leaflets and broadcast by loudspeakers carried on helicopters. Their commonest ploy was to scare us with threats. B-52s will destroy you. But these threats were ineffective on the Vietnamese who have a centuries-old tradition of fighting off foreign invaders. But we had weaknesses. We missed our homes. We are human like you. We lived in tunnels and shelters and were constantly short of food. But worst of all, each night the Americans sent over helicopters broadcasting recorded tapes of babies crying and women's voices pleading in Vietnamese for us to come home or a child's voice saying, Mummy can't sleep, she is crying, she misses you and loves you. It went on like that all night can you imagine what it's like for a soldier in a tunnel away from his family for years at night hearing those voices it certainly affected the spirits of our fighters those recorded voices made us think of what we missed but afterwards we were more determined to fight these recorded voices are the sounds of psychological operations created by the US armed forces during the Vietnam War Designed to intimidate and demoralize the North Vietnamese in their fight against the Americans, actors are cast as pleading voices from home, voices from the beyond, and voices of the dead. These imaginary ghosts have a home as well, on recordings known as the ghost tapes. The basic idea behind the ghost tape, or the ghost tapes, the different versions, was that in that culture, you must be buried according to a certain protocol. And in the best of all possible protocols, you need to be buried close to home. And that was not happening. There were a lot of bodies being left on the field. If that's the case, then according to their own culture, that spirit is just going to be wandering and angry and lost for eternity. And that's where this particularly wild, strange, unnerving piece of audio came from. And to my knowledge, the first time it was ever used was on a uh, swift boat uh, down in the Delta. Uh, and they uh, got into a situation where there was no moon. And the swift boat team cut their engines because they wanted to give the impression that it was a spirit on the loose, a real wandering spirit speaking from the night sky. They uh, drifted down into what was uh, anticipated to be a, uh, a VC concentration or an NVA concentration. They launched the tape, and it was echoing all over the Delta. And my understanding is they got 13 defections uh, after that first use. 